What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. You guys, Derek and Cody with you. And guys, we have to talk about this pass rush for the Indianapolis Colts. Right now, Indianapolis Colts, they are on fire right now. And the main reason behind it, the defensive line. Getting the sack numbers. What this Indianapolis Colts defensive line is doing Probably the best defensive line that we have seen in pretty much a decade. I think I can confidently say that right now, that this is definitely the most production that we have seen from this defensive line in over a decade for the Indianapolis Colts. And it is leading them to victory, and it is keeping them in every game this year. Cody, Right now, the Indianapolis Colts sit at 42 sacks on the year. That is second overall in total sacks, and that is about three and a half sacks on average a game throughout the season. What have you taken away from this Colts defensive line and the sack production this year? Yeah, and again, you know, four in the last four games, Derek, 21 sacks for the Colts. So they've had three straight games of five plus sacks, and then they had four against the Carolina Panthers. So the Colts defensive line has really started to come on. And I know it hasn't been against, you know, maybe the top tier competition, but this defensive line is a unit that had the Colts have invested so much in, Derek. They have invested draft capital. You know, they made trades to get guys. You know, they've signed guys in free agency. The Colts have done a lot to try to get this unit, especially getting after the quarterback the way it is right now. And so it's been absolutely great to see this unit. You know, and I say unit because it hasn't just been one player. You know, in years past, it's been guys like DeForest Buckner, you know, leading it and nobody even being anywhere close to him. But Derek, would you believe me if I said DeForest Buckner's not even top three in sacks on this team right now? The Indianapolis Colts have three other players right now who are leading the way. Samson Abukum, he has eight sacks. Quiddy Pay, seven and a half. Dio Dangbo, six and a half. And then DeForest Buckner at five and a half. So this isn't just a one trick pony type of thing with just one player doing all the heavy lifting. It's been consistently guys beating their man and creating havoc back there. And it's been absolutely great to see the Colts defensive line kind of take this step in year number two in Gus Bradley's system, year number two with defensive line coach Nate Ollie. It's been awesome to see this unit be what it is. And I think you kind of look at the Samson Mabukum signing and it was kind of just the cherry on top. It was the the kind of lightning to Quiddy Pace thunder, if you will. You know, the other guy that you needed on the other side there that could create havoc, could create pressure. And Derek, he now has two straight games in a row of two sacks, and he has been absolutely on fire as of recent. He's the Indianapolis Colts' highest-graded defender, according to Pro Football Focus. i got to think that continues to rise with how well he's been playing. And so he's been a guy, Derek, that the Colts kind of took a chance on You know when they signed him in free agency. They signed him to a three-year deal, paid him a pretty good amount of money, And, you know, for a guy that only had five sacks as his career high in 2022, actually, the Colts took a chance that if they gave him more sacks, the production would follow. And so far, so good. He has been absolutely great for Indianapolis. Like I mentioned, he had five sacks prior. He already has eight through 12 games. So uh, this defensive line in general, they have been absolutely spectacular this season at getting after the quarterback. They kind of hit a little bit of a lull, it felt like, earlier on, kind of before the four-game winning streak. but. Really, Derek, I think that has been one of the main components into why this team went from a losing record, you know, before the Carolina game to now sitting at seven and five and currently inside the playoff picture. So uh, give major props to this defensive uh, line coach, to this defensive coordinator, to everybody, to the players. They did a great job. They're doing a great job and they're continuing to just continue to make life miserable back there for quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy, too, because I think before this win streak that the Indianapolis Colts went on, DeForest Buckner was actually the leading sack guy in, yeah. on the team before going into the actual thing. Because you talk about it over the last two games, Samson and Bukum 
of his eight sacks, he's had four of them in the last two games. You talk about Quiddy Pay, three and a half sacks over the last two games. So Bukum was sitting at four sacks going into a few weeks ago. Quiddy Pay going into uh, that game was at four sacks as well. And Bukum and Pay both had three sacks through the first, I think it was the first three weeks of the season. So there was a stretch from week four to about week, I'm going to say nine, where Quiddy and Samson both both just were, didn't end up getting sacks. And it was costing the Colts a lot of games. They just went dry. And you're seeing it now where that that's just not the case anymore. They're taking advantage of these bad offensive lines and are really piling on the sack numbers. Again, like you said, uh, in four in the last four games, 21 sacks. He had four sacks against Carolina. He had five sacks against the Panthers or uh, against uh, the Patriots. You had five sacks against, or no, he actually had uh, six sacks against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and then six against the Tennessee Titans. And it's been incredible just to see Bukum and Woody Pay go uh, above DeForest Buckner in that regard. And Dio Dangbo as well. I mean, six and a half sacks. He had three sacks against the New England Patriots, uh, which has now put him over Buckner. I mean, you could splice this, Cody, in so many different ways. And I talked about I talked about this in the other video that we did, where the Colts in the last four games have more or the same number of sacks that four different teams in the NFL have on sacks all season. So through 12 games or 13, 12 or 13 games, whatever, I'm assuming most teams of this, it's 12 games, is they've had less sacks than what the Colts have been able to do in a third of the time in the, yep. in the last third of the season. So just to, to kind of remind you of just how dominant the Indianapolis Colts defensive line has been. I mean, it's truly incredible. And you said it that the last time the Indianapolis Colts had a duo that had 10 plus sacks each was Robert Mathis and Dwight Freeney. One of the last great Indianapolis defenses before, you know, the Manning era eventually stopped. So, I mean, it's been a long time since the Indianapolis Colts have seen a couple of guys that are playing at this level and, you know, have the chance to do something really special that we haven't seen in Indianapolis in a long time. Yeah, and even take away the, the tandem, right? That was 2010 when that last happened. Robert Mathis had 11, Dwight Fernie had 10. But even take away the tandem for a second, Derek, and just a singular player having double-digit sacks on the Indianapolis Colts. I, I can only think of two since Robert Mathis and Dwight Freeney did it. And I could be wrong on this. Eric Walden did it in like 2016, I believe he did it. Yeah. Obviously, Robert Mathis did it in 2014. Maybe there's three, actually. And then I believe Justin Houston had 11, 10 or 11, back in 2018, I believe. Or something like that. So there's only been, regardless if it's two or three, it doesn't matter. Uh, regardless of that, it's there's only been a handful of guys. You can only count, you know, two or three guys in really the last decade that have had double digit sacks on this season. And the Colts are on pace right now to have at least two of them have double digit sacks. Two guys having career years when it comes to that. And so it's been absolutely fantastic to see that. It'd be great to just have one guy over 10 sacks, but the Colts could potentially have two or three, maybe even four. I know DeForest Buckner's only has five and a half, but again, DeForest Buckner could easily have a two to three sack game. Like he's that type of dude. So, I mean, that's kind of where I'm standing. Like the fact that DeForest Buckner has the least amount of sacks, and I think he's the guy out of the four that I'm like, he could easily have a three sack day. No question about it. That makes it exciting. Oh, 100%. I mean, yes, it realistically, you as the Indianapolis Colts could have four dudes that realistically could hit 10 sacks on the year. I mean, at the rate that Samson Mabukum is doing it, 
Um, I'm 95% confident, Cody, that Samson Mabukum is going to hit 10 sacks. Uh, what I've seen from Quiddy Pay over the last couple weeks, I'm 80% confident he will. Uh, and I mean, Dio I have another Dango, stat here, Derek. Yeah. Sorry. I have another stat I just saw on Twitter, and this is an interesting one. So last year, if you had to take a guess, how many sacks do you think the Colts had? Right? You said they had 42 on the year so far. How many do you think, if you had to just guess a general idea of how many they had last year, how many do you think they had? Because remember, Yanni had I nine. Saw, I think I saw the stat. Okay. If I get it right, then you'll know. Uh, yeah. 44. Yes, you did. It's okay. You did see that. Yeah, so you put that in perspective, Derek. 17 games last year, the Colts had 44 sacks. In 11 or 12 games, excuse me. They have 42 already. They have 42 sacks. And so the fact that they're on pace to do what they're doing and they're, you know, eclipsing this these sack totals already, and they're already, you know, for a defensive line that we would probably say played pretty decent last year, you know, the fact that they are doing what they're doing and they're taking their sack total to another level, it's pretty awesome, dude. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, again, like you said, to – do what the Colts are doing in comparison to last year. I mean, even last year, Cody, we were talking about it, 44 sacks last year. I think that was still top 10 in all of the NFL last year in total sacks. I mean, which is pretty interesting to say the least. But yeah, it just goes to show you how much more dominant this defensive line has been this year. And there's no doubt that Indy will do that because... Again, you just look at the competition that they're facing over the over the last five weeks, right? You got you got the Cincinnati Bengals who have a terrible offensive line and a backup quarterback playing for them. Uh, you got to face the Pittsburgh Steelers who haven't had the greatest of offensive lines this year, and you're you might be facing Mitch Trubisky in that game because Kenny Pickett's now injured. Uh, you're going to have to face the Raiders and Aiden O'Connell. And I, I know I'm missing a name or two here, but I mean, that's just some of the names that you're going to have to go up against when, and you're going to have to face the Falcons. The Falcons are not the greatest when it comes to protecting their quarterback. So, I mean, there is a lot of situations where Indy can blow this thing out the water, man. I mean, it, it's yeah. for the rest of this year. I mean, the best offensive line you're going to face for the remainder of this year, or at least the best offense that you're going to face that's going to prevent you from getting pressure on their quarterback as frequently is the Texans and C.J. Stroud. And you won't see them for at least another five weeks. So it, it is quite they lost, the ways And they down, lost Titus but, Howard. Titus Howard's out for the year. They're right tackle. He's out for the year too. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And, and be let's left. not pretend that the Texans' offensive line has gotten a ton better over the year. Uh, they really haven't. I mean, they've been they've been gotten better when they've gotten a couple of their guys back, but other than that, they <laughs> CJ Stroud still facing a lot of pressure over the last several weeks. So, yes. I mean, again, this defensive line for Indy has so many opportunities to be able to keep getting it. And the crazy part is, is in this four game stretch that we talked about with uh, with all these guys. I mean, Eric Johnson has a sack during that time. Ada Tommy Wall has a sack and a half during that time. Uh, I know Kenny Moore has a sack in that time. Taven Bryan has a sack during it, Cody. Jake Martin, who nobody knew of going into the season to, as a backup, hit both of his sacks have come uh, over this four-game stretch. So it's not been just the Indianapolis Colts starting four. like. Dio Dangbo has one really good week. Samson Mabukum and Quiddy Pay have had two really great weeks. DeForest Buckner's only had two sacks in the last five games. So, I mean, it's not been a culmination of just the top four guys. I mean, you talk about that. I mean, you're talking about everyone is getting a little bit of a piece of it. And that's what's great about what this defensive line is able to do. And it's really awesome to see Ibukum playing the way that he is, Cody. I don't even know if I predicted him to hit eight sacks this year when I found out about the trade 
or about the free agency acquisition in the off season. I don't even know if I predicted him to hit eight. I think I might've said that was his top number. Uh, so he's already hit top number for me and he's got five games left. So, uh, to see that with a potential to hit double digits, uh, you know, we talked about at the end of last year with the Colts letting Yannick and Gakwe go and, you know, now bringing in Samson and uh, it, it totally is turning out to be the right decision. And Ibukum is excelling with Indianapolis. Yes. Yes, he is. I mean, yeah, we all were kind of like, I remember Derek, I'm sure you do too. The comments when the Colts decided to sign a book in favor of Ngakwe, people were like, really, you're going to you know, spend all that money for a guy that only has five sacks as his career total. I don't like it. And you know, to be fair, like that was a fair, you know, thing at that point, but you know, that's why I think Derek's stats can be very misleading. Like we've talked about before, you know, you can say Yannick Ngakwe had nine sacks a year ago. But when you look at it from last year, even though the fact that Abukam only had five sacks a year ago, he was clearly the better player than Ngakwe last year. So it just goes to show you that, you know, the Colts liked what they saw in Abukam. He kind of was playing that second fiddle, you know, in San Francisco with all the guys they have there. And the Colts gave him more of an opportunity to start. And to his credit, he has really taken that and run with it. So, yeah, I, I love to see that. And I love to see Quiddy Pay starting to come on, man. He had that strip sack and – uh, today against uh, Will Levis, I guess when this video comes out, it'll be yesterday. But you know he's not. You know it's not just being these streaky, you know, type of things for Quiddy now. I feel like the last couple of weeks he has really started to come on, and so I love to see that from Quiddy Pay in terms of getting after the passer because we never knew if he was going to be a guy that would even sniff ten sacks after kind of what he had done and some of the injuries and stuff like that. You know. But he's been great. And so really excited to see this group that, you know, outside of Buckner in terms of the pass rushers, like you mentioned, very young still. Um, I don't know if you mentioned Taekwon Lewis's name, but I got to mention him. You know, he may not ever get, you know, the 10 sacks or anything like that. But he has just been such a solid rotational piece this year for the Colts. And he's continued to get pressure on the quarterback. And I just don't think we talk about him enough. So uh, that was a great great job by Ballard and company putting faith in Lewis, giving him one more chance because the Colts could have easily walked away from him, Derek. I mean, a lot of people thought they should have after two back-to-back -back major injuries, but he has had a nice bounce back year. And I love to see what he's been doing and kind of him starting to find a role and hopefully he can continue to kind of be a nice rotational piece for this defensive line because he can do that, man. You feel really good about this team. And the crazy thing is, Derek, this defensive line could even get better this offseason. They could. The Colts could continue to add to their arsenal on the defensive line, which is crazy to think about, but they still could. And so, uh, but for this year, I'm really excited to see over the last five games, where do the Colts end up? You know, I pulled up just because you mentioned the Colts, you know, last year with their sack numbers. They were ranked number 10 in the NFL with 44 sacks. Derek, if the season ended today, the Colts would be, as of last year, they would be 13th overall in the NFL. You know, if the season ended today in 12 games compared to everybody else's 17 games, that's where they would stand right now. So that's how good they've been. And I love to see it. And I'm excited to see what this unit continues to bring. You know, very young, you know, very uh, a lot. You know, I feel like there's still so much room to grow for this group, too. So it's just very exciting. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it's really awesome to see this defensive line playing the way that it is. And we can only hope that they will continue to keep putting up these kinds of numbers. Uh, it seems like that's what's going to have to happen in order for Indianapolis to keep winning these football games. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let us know your thoughts on this Colts defensive line. How have you felt about them? Uh, and what do you guys predict for sack numbers for these guys? at the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, go Colts.